What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I was scrolling through Twitter one night and these awesome looking speakers popped up in my newsfeed. I clicked on it and went to their website and immediately followed up with an email to the owner Jan, or is it pronounced Jan? After about a month's worth of emails, I get the delivery. I'm sure most of you haven't heard of the brand, but they're a speaker company based out of Norway, Arendel Norway to be exact. Hence the name Arendel Sound. And as far as I know, these can't be purchased here in North America. However, they are big throughout Europe. And the word is, there may be a North American launch sometime at the end of the year. So let's go ahead, get these unboxed, and go over some tech specs. But before we get into it, if you've got a passion for audio and video gear, or want to keep up with the highest quality movies at home, consider hitting that subscribe button for new weekly content. All right, let's get these things unboxed. Let's start off with the center channel speaker. Inside, we get a pair of white gloves to keep those fingerprints away. Unboxing the center channel speaker is essentially the same as the left and right speakers, so I'll spare you guys those unboxings. Here we have the magnetic grill, which is made from metal and wrapped in cloth. The speaker comes in a high quality drawstring fabric bag, so if you want to bag it up and bring it to your friend's house, that should be no problem. All three front speakers are in the mid-bass tweeter mid-bass configuration, or MTM. Having all three front channels in the same arrangement will maintain consistent timbre matching across the front soundstage. Every speaker in this system will use the same 6.5-inch mid-bass driver along with a 28mm synthetic soft dome tweeter. The tweeter sits in a custom-designed waveguide, which will broaden dispersion rather than having the tweeter beam straight at you. From back, you'll see that the speaker is biampable. You may also notice that the speaker terminals are custom made from copper and then plated with a rhodium finish for high conductivity and durability. The same process is used for the terminal jumpers as well. One thing to point out is that every speaker is THX certified. This may or may not be important to certain people, but those buying should have peace of mind knowing that these speakers can perform at a certain level. All three front speakers also come with port plugs, so they can be used in either sealed mode, which will give you a response down to 66 hertz. With one port open, it'll go down to 59 hertz and both ports open will go down to 46 hertz. These are 4 ohm speakers, so they may not be the easiest speakers to drive, especially if you have a lower end receiver. Moving over to the surround speakers, we get some decent wall mounting hardware, along with screws, anchors, and rubber bumpers. Here's the magnetic grill, and more white gloves. You'll notice the surrounds have the exact same 6.5 inch mid bass driver and tweeter as found in the front channels. But this is a dipolar design with a 4 inch driver on each side. Per the THX spec, this will help spread sound information along the side walls with a diffuse expansive sound, while the drivers on the front give you directional information. Rendell calls it a triaxial speaker. Around back are the same high quality connections as the front speakers. There's also a notch on the bottom of the surround S when the speaker is mounted against the wall, so you can have the wire run straight up through that notch without any kind of wobbling. So that's a nice touch. And speaking of mounting, you'll get two metal pieces in the box. One piece will have a rubber backing. This is the one you'll screw to the back of the speaker. Just line up the two outer holes and use the included screws to join them together. The second piece will mount to your wall. And you can see here, once it's on your wall, they will slide together and you can use the two small screws in the bag to screw them together so they don't move. Now onto the subwoofer. Inside we get the unpacking instructions in case you don't know how to get it out of the box. And a nice hardcover book with company history and product photos. That's a nice bonus. Here we have two grills that attach magnetically. And of course the white gloves with some Norwegian candy. So this isn't the largest subwoofer I've had in my place. I actually think it's about the same size as the SVS SV4000, and it weighs about 90 pounds. Big difference here is that this guy has dual opposing 13.8 inch drivers on the left and right sides. Around back are connections for XLR and RCA inputs, variable controls for low pass and phase, the volume control, low pass filter bypass if you're having your processor handle crossover settings, and an EQ toggle. EQ1 will give you a response down to 20 Hz, and EQ2 will give you a response of 32 Hz. And you have your automatic on-off toggle switch. Now I know it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but a Rendell Sound calls these models their 1723 S series. The S stands for small. Now I'm not sure what small means in Norway, but these things are huge sitting right next to the MK150s. 
and the build quality, I think you'll have a hard time finding something built this good at this price point. The second you pull them out of the box, they immediately scream premium quality. All right, all right, I'm not gonna get into a review. I'm gonna save that for another video. I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed in my home theater, and I'll be back for a follow-up video about their sound quality. Oh, before I leave, I've just got one issue with this speaker setup. Why would you send me only five speakers? I have an 11 channel system. Okay, I'm being greedy. So thanks for checking out the video. If you guys are interested in these speakers, I'll leave a link to their website down below. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you own any of the Arendelle sound setups or tell us what speakers you're running in your home theaters. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys again in the next video.